Hey guys, so what I'm doing today is replacing the cable that opens up the gas lid. So it's the cable that attaches to this lever and opens up your gas lid so you can pump gas. Uh, the reason we're replacing mine today is because I made a stupid mistake and it was actually one that can be, could have been prevented. Um, this cable looks identical to the antenna wire that connects to the motor that operates your antenna. Um, I removed my motor so while I was going to cut the antenna wire, I actually cut this instead, so do not make that mistake. They look identical, same, same diameter, same black, same everything. So do not cut the wrong one if you're planning to take out the antenna. Um, I did cut the antenna wire to sort of take a shortcut because I didn't want to remove all these panels and remove the wire. So I just ended up cutting it and I taped it off. Um, but this is what we're doing today, placing the cable. Um, it should be an easy fix. Uh, my trunk is already gutted. So it should be fairly simple. Um, if you haven't gutted your, your rear seat, it's going to be really hard to replace this cable, obviously, because you're going to have to remove everything anyways. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so what you guys first want to do is remove this kick panel right here near your pedals. Um, it's just one little tab right here that you have to remove. Move that out of the way. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to remove this carpet, this panel right here, so that way you can get to where the lever is because that's where the wire first connects um, you have to pull up this little tab right there open it up there's one Phillips head screw once you remove that Phillips head screw this moves away alright so I finally got it off you guys um, what you have to do is actually remove the lever um, this lever comes off fairly easy you just you slide it off um, after you had taken off that screw you take off this panel um, about this panel right here where the where it goes under the door um, it's kind of hard to take off but don't be scared you're not gonna break it just use force um, what it is it's just clips so if you look under here the clips are still fine they're held in fairly tightly so like I said just use enough force you'll be able to take it off um, what you'll do next is there's actually a 10 millimeter bolt I don't know if you can see that. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here um, what you're going to do is you're going to take that 10 millimeter bolt off. This whole entire assembly will come off. And I will show that next once I get that off. Alright guys, so actually there were two 10 millimeter bolts where this bracket was. Um, one was on the left, one was on the right. Um, you're able to take that off. Go under this panel right here. And you're going to be able to see where the wire or the cable connects. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's literally just plug and play. What you're going to do is you're going to connect the wires here, run it th under this panel, under this carpet right here. If you're gutted, you don't have to worry about this, but it goes all the way back um, behind your rear quarter panel. And then you're just going to plug in where the cable latches pretty much, and then that's it. And um, to reinstall, just go backwards with the steps, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, you guys.